What's going on guys? In this video we'll be going over a tool called butter knife that is used to pull the resources in Android Studio from the uh, layout and it injects them into the view or activity or whatever. So instead of using uh, like find view by ID for everything, it's more of a simple process to do it. And so we'll be going over how to set it up. This video should be pretty quick. It should only be a couple minutes long. I already have a project already set up here. I just, uh, let's go over here. I made a couple text views here. I've got three text views and then a button that will load text into each view. Then over here on the main activity, I have the resources here for each of the text views and the button. Then I'm pulling them right here. Find view by ID and I got the button set up. So. First thing you have to do is go over here to Google and then just type in a uh, butter knife. It's usually this first one that pops up here. It's uh, Jake Wharton. Just click on that and this right here just go, kind of goes over what butter knife is, but really the only thing we need here is this stuff down here. We just got to download a couple elements to the Gradle. We gotta compile it to the Gradle. So just copy both of those and then come over here and go to the app one, not the project one. You go to the app, module app one. And then just kind of underneath all this, paste what you just copied. Then you gotta go up here to sync now in the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and let that sync. It should be pretty quick. And then we'll go back to main activity. So first thing, we will just uh, comment those out. If you don't know how to comment multi lines at a time, you just hit command and forward slash on a Mac and control and forward slash on a PC. And the first thing we'll do, we'll come up here at the top of the page and we will type in the at sign. And then since we compiled everything in the Gradle, it's already implemented into the project. So just hit bind view. And then we go in here and we type in r.id. TV. That's the ID that I created over here. And see, we got TV1 and then TV2, TV3, and then BTN for the button. Same thing here. We'll just copy and paste and just change that to TV2 and copy and paste that. And then change that to TV3 and then add BTN. All right. So, butter knife, it can't, you can't use private variables or static with it. So, we're going to have to go in here and delete all these privates. So the reason for this is because Butterknife it generates a bunch of code in a separate class. So Butterknife has to be able to get reference to whatever field, whether it's a text view, image view, or just whatever. They have to be able to retrieve it from outside of this class. So you have to keep everything non-private. So then the second thing we have to do is come down here, and it's got to be after where it sets the layout, and then just go underneath that, and then type in Butterknife dot bind and then you can just pick that first one right there and then we fill that in with this it needs the context uh, for the target context all this does it uh binds the methods to the butter knife class that it automatically created when you uh download the gradle files into it so i believe that's it so we'll just go over real quick what we did here. We had to bind the view, each of the views, kind of almost like this, but it takes up less space and it's actually a quicker process. Yeah, once you bind the views, you you have to bind butter knife into the uh, target. So in this case, it's the uh, main activity and that's it. So I will go ahead and run it. Okay, so once we hit load text, we should get that coming up on the screen here. So yep, we got one, two, three. And as you can see, these are still commented out. And all we are is just pulling the resources with a uh, butter knife. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please give me a thumbs up here and hit the subscribe button. All right. Thanks for watching.